Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I wanted to show you guys the fastest and most efficient way of getting your mementos. And before I even continue with the video, I want you guys to leave in the comments down below if you would like me to stream on YouTube, because I do stream everything on Twitch, but I was thinking of doing trove stuff on YouTube only since I already upload on YouTube, and then, you know, all my VODs or things can just be there in general. And then for Twitch, I do like to play other games in general, so maybe I could have Twitch for that. But uh, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. So if you're just starting out farming mementos, you might be new to the game. You might be a mid game player. You also might be an end game player. And there's a few ways to go about this. So if you're brand new, you don't know anything about mementos. What you can do is go to your collections. I don't know how to open this up on console, but uh, it just says here you can click Y. So we have this, you go to combat and you have mementos and you have a lot of them. You have 98 creatures, 40 boss and 14 biomes. And on top of all of this, you have a lot of banners to craft in here, which require free range electrolytic crystals. I do have a guide on that if you want to check that out, if you want to grind out those as well. But you need mementos for all of these. A lot of these are just bosses, so uh, that's always good to note. They're kind of hard to farm, and there's also a couple biomes. I say a couple. We have Subnautic over here, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So like I said before, if you're brand new to the game, what you would want to do is you could just enter a public delve and just do that and just get started in a way. Or if you can, get yourself some private portals. So I have some depth stepper ones. I have 38 of those. I think I also have... Okay, I don't know why they changed the color of it. It used to be a little bit different, but I do have some private ones over here as well as some challenge ones. And I'll go over all this stuff later. So pretty much as you go into delves, you go into your publics, you get started with it. You can get yourself some private portals if you don't know how to craft it. I think if you complete one of your badges, uh, you can go down here to delves. And if you complete a certain amount, you'll get uh, delve gateway portals like you can see right here. If you do nine public delves completed, you'll get 10 private ones. So what you would do is you would take your private portal. I'm just going to hit, uh, I think it's this one over here. So my Neon Ninja opens up depth 124. You're going to have a character that opens a random one. So if I just, I don't know, if I go to Boomer Ranger and put one down, I'm going to have 76. Your numbers are going to be completely different. It's just dependent on uh, your public delves pretty much. And I can talk about uh, how to increase your depth or lower your depth in a completely different video as well. So you could do your public delves, you get some portals, you go into here. I would recommend starting at a really, really low depth, like as low as you can possibly go. If your main objective is to farm mementos, you shouldn't care about shadowy vaults. So all you want to do is go as low as possible, like five would be fine if you can open that. And just go from there until like as high as you can go pretty much. Uh, note that shadowy vaults won't appear uh, at depths of 5, 6, 7, like stuff like that. You're gonna have to go past depth of 20. I, I don't remember the exact number, but you, I know you have to be higher than 20. And as you're completing delves, you're gonna be getting random mementos. And the idea of mementos is that you can get creature mementos, you can get the boss memento, or you can get the biome memento. And the rarities of all of that go exactly in order. So you got your creatures are the common ones. You have your boss being a little bit harder to get, and then you have the biome ones, which are even harder to get than the boss ones. So I'm just going to open up a random delve, and I want to show you exactly what I mean by all of this. Alright, so I am currently at depth 124. It put me in Neon Underground. If you want to farm a specific creature, or want to know what kind of creatures are in here, you can kind of just look at the trophies here. So this one over here is a decompiler. Over here we got Bladebot. Over here, we have Tazeroid, and over here, we got Robo Spider. So these four creatures that you see are all the enemies you're going to see in this delve. And then all the way up to the boss, so if we look at the very top here, finish uh, floor 12, there's going to be a little trophy at the very end, and you'll see what boss it is. I'm going to cut straight over there just to show you what it looks like. Alright, so I've made it to the very end of the area here, and as you can see, this is what the boss is going to be. We have Balefire Dragon right over here. And I already completed the objective, so I can just go down there, fight the boss, and the memento that we get could be either this boss over here, or any of the creatures that we saw. In order to get the bio memento, you have to go until you see a shadowy vault in your thing. So on the third floor, so this is my first one, so 125 would be my second, and then 126 would be my third. So whatever the third uh, room that you go to, so your shadowy vault, whatever biome it says, you have a chance of getting that biome. So I'm just going to fight the boss here and let's just see if I get lucky because it is random if I get it or not. I'm actually not going to use uh, Neon Ninja. I'm going to cut to the very end of this because this might take a while. All right, so I beat the boss with Ice Sage and it drops the chest. So at the moment we break this chest, we can see if we get a memento. So I break it, 
I'm just gonna hold E and it looks like I actually got the boss memento, Balefire Dragon. So that's actually kind of cool. Bosses are a little bit more tricky to get. Ignore all the other stuff I have in my inventory, but uh, yeah, it looks like th that's the one. So if you don't have it already, you can just click it and you can learn it. If you don't have it, unfortunately, the only thing you could do is bring it to a loot collector and loot collect it. So if I find it, I think it's at the bottom. Yeah, so you'll get this over here. It's a condensed memory, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So now when I go into the next room, this is the biome that we have. We have Outrageous Trovian Delve, which is actually pretty common at the depths that we're at. So now we have a chance of getting these mementos in here. These are the creatures. These are the possible creatures that we can get. And uh, there's a lot of them. And you might be wondering, man, I wish I had a checklist for all of this. Well, you are in luck. This checklist that I'm about to give you will actually be very helpful to you throughout your journey of farming mementos because every Monday, the challenge portals reset, meaning that if there's a certain memento at a certain depth that you really need, you can farm that depth, that portal specifically over and over until you get that memento. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So before I show you the checklist and how that exactly works, I'm just going to go over quickly how these work. So I have my private portal here and the portals that are private, like this one over here, are completely random of the biome that you're going to get, the creatures, like everything in general. And if I were to use my challenge portal, I you always start at 110. And if you go higher, like if you complete that portal, then you'll open 111. And if you beat that one, you'll go to 112 and so on and so forth. But in this portal, everything stays the same. So with the checklist that I'm about to give you, you want to use an alt account because let's just say there's a memento that you need at depth 111. So what I would do in this situation is I would grab an alt account and finish floor uh, 110 right over here that we have. And then once I complete it, my alt will be able to do 111 and my main account will also be able to do 111. And after that, in order to repeat the process, your alt would have to put down the portal at 111. And obviously you would go into it with your main account as well. And then once you're in it, you want to remove your alt account and just finish it with your main account. And if you get it, that's good. You can move on. And if not, then you can retry it. So your alt account could then do 111 again and your main account would be moved up to 112 because you finished 111. Hopefully that makes sense. I know I'm throwing like a lot of information at you guys, but I'm sure you're going to understand it. All right, now I'm going to switch my screen over to the checklist just to show you guys how that works. Alrighty, so this is the checklist that we have here. I will be linking this down in the description down below so you can check this out. All you want to do is when I give you the copy is you want to go over to file and then just make a copy so you can keep this for yourself and it'll be over in your Google Drive so you don't have to worry about finding it. But yeah, I just called it Memento Checklist and then obviously I have it uh, bookmarked. So every Monday, the floors, the rooms, everything changes. You can get new chances for new mementos. So this is a really cool spreadsheet to have. And I do want to go over this one real quick. So we have 11 biomes here, 28 bosses and 76 creatures. It is missing some. So keep that in mind. Also, some of the names for certain things are changed. So I'm just going to scroll down here. All of these are creatures. You can kind of just see it says creature on the side. It also gives the name and I can keep scrolling down and you'll also be going down to bosses. And then it also has the biomes down here as well. So it has everything and they are color coded. So bosses would be purple. I'm just going to uncheck these. Uh, the biomes are a black color and then the creatures are also black so it's black purple and then black which if you do make your own copy you could just change the color if you want to but it's pretty easy to understand and follow all right so at the very bottom you can see my collection so whatever you get you can just check off as you go this will be really handy for you and then next to it you can see this week so every monday like i said it resets so this is what you have for your possible mementos so as you can see we have a couple creatures all of these are uh, darked out for me so it means i have it some of these ones like this is what it's going to look like for you if you do not have it but uh some of the names are like a little bit different so even though i have it uh, it's just going to show up as this color so hopefully that doesn't confuse you guys also this is part of the ones that just don't show up so just make sure you mark it and just know that it's not actually in your my collections area so keep that in mind and as you can see it starts at depth 110 it shows you which memento you can get and it shows you which boss it is which is pretty handy and from 110 if you scroll down it goes pretty far uh, it used to be like you could get mementos in these areas here but uh, there's a delve cap now, so you're not really going to see too many things up here. And if you are able to farm up here, that is great. But yeah, I think you guys get the point. I'm pretty sure you know how this works now. And if you see an empty spot, you could farm it yourself to see if you can get the memento that you want. So like if I really wanted Spike Walker, like the boss, I could try to farm 112 over and over to see if I can get Spike Walker. And then obviously if it has something over it, you can farm that specific memento. 
Alrighty, so back to the game. And last thing I wanted to show you guys is the Delve workbench here. So if we go over here, we have daily memento gateways. So if you need a memento here, you have a shot of getting these. You can actually look these up in the marketplace to see if you can get any more portals, which will be helpful for you guys. And like it says over here, daily memento gateway, these do change daily. So keep that in mind. So over here, we have depth stepper gateways. So if you want to find yourself a certain boss, a certain biome, you can actually find a specific boss. And if it leads you to a specific biome, uh, that could also be very helpful for your farms as well. But yeah, uh, you could also just go to the marketplace to get these. These things are kind of tricky to craft sometimes. So if you have epic condensed memories, if you don't know what that is, if you loot collect a buy a memento, you can get one of these. Or if you loot collect your depth steppers, like I have over here, you can actually get those too. And then uh, if I loot collect these, you can get other stuff too. Or if you just have like boss mementos, you can loot collect it for rare and then uncommon is just your creature ones. But yeah, they're not super terrible to craft. It might be if you're brand new to the game, but if you're an end game player and you farm these a bunch, you might have a lot of resources left over. But one thing I really, really want to mention is that there is a rotation for all of this. So it is Thursday currently at the time of me recording this. So right now you have a shot of getting the Toxic Tunnels by Memento and the Curse Cave one. And like the description says here, you'll do your regular three floors and then the third one's gonna be your shadowy vault. And sometimes you'll get like a message in chat saying that this is gonna be the last time you can do uh, Curse Caves and then it's, it's gonna be like a regular delve after that, which does happen. So it's like completely random on how that works. It can happen one time or you can, you know, your seventh try might say that, but uh, it's completely random. So once it gives you that message, you can just put up a new portal and start all over again. But like I said, these are on rotation. So uh, once Friday hits, there's going to be different portals here. And I do want to talk about the depths and the rotation real quick. Here are all the rotations for your depth steppers. So Monday, Tuesday, all the way up to Sunday, you can see which biomes are going to be what, how much uh, resources you'll have to use for whatever you need. And then also you're going to be having your minimum starting depth. So whenever you get a portal that you need, just make sure you start at that depth and then you can go up from there and just use it as a regular 